So Colorado had their practices on yesterday. Questions roaming around social media right now is, is running back Alton McCaskill healthy? We also have some one-on-ones. We have a wide receiver that's practicing bad habits right now, not looking to ball in. Shout out to Well Off Media. I only will be reacting to the on-field workouts. What's good, YouTube? Mag Dog TV back with another video. If you're new here, stopping by for the first time, hit the like, subscribe button, comment. I really appreciate it. Also, hit the notification bell. That way, whenever I upload a video, you guys will be aware. Jerry Rice, what am I up this for? You see that? You good, though. You don't want it bad, bro. You good. You good. You good, bro. Get that work in, man. Alton McCaskill is still battling with injuries right now. I'm going to show you guys in the next clip. You can clearly see him limping. Coach Prime yesterday called him over in yesterday's practice just to make sure that he was okay. I can promise you guys prime time is not going to rush this player. We know how special he is when he's at 100%. We see Odell Beckham Jr. dealing with these type of injuries. We saw Adrian Peterson deal with this type of injury. It's normal. It's the nature of the game. It's part of the game. This is one of the things that you hate any player to actually have to go through. Yeah, no, we had we ran spread too. We ran spread. Yeah. We ran spread because we we had to take our tight ends out. Yeah. When we went we went ten person out, it was over with. I swear. When we went ten person out, nobody with us. That's what I'm saying. It's a team sport. That's why you gotta love football. It's a team sport. No matter how much athletes you got, you feel me? But we had them athletes. We had them athletes on that day for sure. I love it. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. We had we had more speed. I told them boys that like, it's like we have four, more speed. I it's four, it's four. You five, you, you like we have an argument like with us fast. Like we done that argument the whole and, team. And TD, like, and TD, y'all four no, like fast. I swear, but uh, our receiver room was sliding too. Like everybody twenty two, twenty two up, ten plus of us. Oh God, Willie, we both ain't putting on God. Willie, off on, on. ain't putting on God. Look here, hey, hey, you know I'm talking about the pass. Go cap on the, go cap on the camera. I'm talking the pass, come on. Hey, when the pass on, it gonna be over for for the ass. It gonna be over with. Watch. It's y'all team, man. It's y'all team. Y'all right. Here we go. Bust on two. Bust on two. One, two. Bust. We go hop to it. Hop to it. Hop to it. Hey. A couple of things I want to say before reacting to the on-field workout. Xavier Weaver is absolutely correct. This is a team sport. You can take a team with a bunch of athletes versus a team with team chemistry. That team with team chemistry more likely going to win because they're all on the same page. They all as one. You also heard Willie Gaines talking about wait till them pass come on. He's absolutely correct. You got some player that's going to look like playmakers when shorts and shimmies is on, but when a full pass come on, they go silent. It matters most when those pass come on. You don't play in shorts and shimmies. You play in full pass, and this is why I cannot wait till them pass come Come on. one of the workouts I used to absolutely hate. I used to prefer the 100 yards because with this workout, you stopping and going, you stopping and going, and you're running towards your coach. As you guys heard Coach Mo say, I'm sitting here right in front of you, start the drill over with. I used to prefer the 100 yard sprints because with the 100 yard sprints, I could actually pace myself according to the time that I'm actually given. This workout is no touch, it's no pacing, nothing. You have to go and stop, go and stop, so you might as well get it in. Yeah, cool, so you can film me, you can't film me. Yeah, it's good, it's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> we need all that negativity, man. Uh, you're right. You're right. Matter of fact, can I get a post? Speaking of negativity, can I get a post? You know, he want to have a talk with you about that too. Nah, look at it. He's your son first, then he's content creator second. Huh? Well, be the son then. Don't be the friend. <laughs> no, no. Put the camera down and be the son. <laughs> he don't want to do that. He want to be the creator. Yes, he does. You never ask him. You never ask him to go get food. You. <laughs> you never ask him to spend quality time. It's only content. He's more than content. What is it? He's your son. Okay, tell him put the camera. Down. We gotta get better from here. We gotta get better from here. I'm tired of saying the same thing though. All right. We trying to climb, trying to get better every day, right? Yes, sir. That's the mindset. That's the mindset. Get better every day. Push your teammates every day. You see them doing something wrong, hold them accountable. Every day you come in here with a mindset to get better. Everybody got that? Yes, sir. Let's go, bring it in. <laughs> Shit easy, man. Before we react to these one-on-ones, I just want to say Coach Mo is absolutely correct. You have to take advantage of every single day and work hard and bust your behind every single day. You're not the only team that's putting in hard work. It's just very fortunate we have someone like Well Off Media showing us what's going on behind closed doors, showing us the personality of each player. We're very fortunate we can actually see those things. Now we're about to get into the one-on-ones. Very excited. a nice catch right there. I just want to say something. Javon Antonio was playing like the number one wide receiver. That was an NFL catch. Six foot frame. He know how to use his physicality and he actually know how to play with it. You had a lot of players that six four, six five, but play like they're five nine. Javon Antonio know how to use his size to his advantage. I want to also say something. The first group of guys that we've been seeing in the spring, Travis Hunter, Jimmy Horn Jr., Caleb Mathis, those guys are not on the field right now. It's all about the summer guys. According to the summer guys, Javon Antonio is the number one wide receiver right now. Hey, good man. You all getting the same? Oh, man. Catch the ball, dog. This wide receiver right here is practicing bad habits. He's not catching the ball and tucking. I'm going to show you guys an example. This is a bottle of lotion, but you guys can understand what I'm saying. When you, when you catch the ball, you're supposed to catch it all the way in and tuck it. This wide receiver is doing this right here. He's actually dropping it. That's why he's dropping the ball. You guys will also see in the second route that he's going to run, where I'm going to explain this even more in another clip. As a wide receiver, this frustrates me when I see a wide receiver is playing on this type of level and can't catch it and tuck it. It's very, it's very frustrating. It's good, John. I'm still killing you. Pack 12 football and you have a wide receiver trying to catch the ball in his chest. Catch it with your hands and tuck it. This is why he dropped this pass right here if you guys was wondering. In this next route you're about to see, you're about to see him do the same thing. He's trying to catch it with his chest. Now he was able to catch this ball with his chest, but you're supposed to catch this ball with your hands. You're a wide receiver. You're playing in a Pac-12 for primetime Deion Sanders. There's no reason why you should be trying to chest catch it. And he didn't even look it in. He actually caught it with his hands, but he didn't look it in. I'm absolutely surprised he caught that ball because he did the second thing once again, trying to catch it like this instead of right here and tucking it. That's a wide receiver that has no confidence. That's a wide receiver that has no hands trying to catch it with his chest. That's just what it is. My final thoughts, it was a very good video. Shout out to Well Off Media. have a lot more in this video for you guys to check out. I will have a link to his channel and this video in the description. If you guys like the video, definitely like, subscribe to the channel.